What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're talking about night vision and escape from Tarkov. The quick answer, in my opinion, is that they are only necessary for night factory and otherwise just a convenience tool with the game in its current state. There's lots of situations where they just aren't needed and can easily be the cause of your death when used at the wrong time. Now don't get me wrong, if it's dark out and you're sneaking around, NVGs are absolutely a great advantage and there's tons of fights that you will win strictly just because you have them. But the effectiveness scale of any NVG goes from Sam Fisher to deer in the headlights literally at the speed of light. If you want the best cheap option then don't bring any or just bring a flashlight. If you really want the best then use the GP NVG. If you want the best setup period then use the airframe with chops and the GP NVG. My ranking currently is the GP NVG, the PVS 14, a flashlight, nothing, then the armor sight and the PNV 10T, with the last two there as kind of a toss up on whether they're actually good or not. If you really want to use a helmet, then use the PNV. If you want the sight to be a little bit better, but you can't wear a helmet with it, then use the armor sight. And here's the explanation why. First things first, infrared items don't actually work yet. Any infrared lasers or lights still show up to the naked eye in game. And Nikita said that they're working on that soon TM. NVGs in their current state do one thing very well, which is show you something in pitch darkness you otherwise couldn't see at all. There's plenty of places that have that, especially Night Factory, where you can use them to their advantages with great success. The downsides of NVGs are four things. Flashlights, sufficient ambient light, lack of face protection, and your immediate surroundings. Flashlights recently got turned up a bit and they are more effective than they used to be at blinding people when being shined right in their faces. You can turn that up tenfold when the person is wearing NVGs. The reason why the GP NVG and the PS14 are at the top of my list because they handle light the best in my eyes, literally, and I see that as the biggest threat. The Armasite and PNV 10T essentially wash out light, which is not good at all, especially when that light source is attached to a weapon being aimed at your forehead. The elephant in the room is that with flashlights being this powerful now, you can kind of do the job just fine by not wearing NVGs and just bring a flashlight. What that causes is the rat with the pistol, shotgun, or SMG to now think twice about bringing a fog light with them for when they come across geared players like what you will be bringing NVGs. I've been killed by pistols, SMGs, and shotguns with flashlights because I couldn't see them at all even though they were just a few meters in front of me. Your only defenses are an NVG that handles light well, move around to try and get the guys outlined, bring a buddy with you because you can only shine the flashlight at one person at a time, or just spray and pray. However, with flashlights acting the way that they are right now, they will still have a similar effect on someone whether they're wearing NVGs or not, but NVGs absolutely enhance it. These also go along with the next problem, which is sufficient ambient light. Most nights, even at the darkest points of the night, you can see pretty well with no assistance whatsoever. The volumetric fog or whatever it is that fills the game space at night allows you to see shapes and once you've played the game enough you can easily pick out players even at a distance. Especially the new maps where they've redone the lighting like interchange and customs you can see really well in almost all situations. The next problem is face shields because you can't wear one while using NVGs. The best you can do is the chops with the airframes. The level 2 manipoles with the ops cores don't allow you to wear a headset which is vital at night on top of being only level 2 anyway and those are the only options that we have for face protection right now. No face shield equals cheeky headshots from rats that you don't see. In turn, making it completely possible to lose your entire setup, including over 400k rubles just for what's on your head, to a single bullet from essentially any gun from one rat in the right place at the right time. The majority of the community just cannot risk that. The last thing you have to worry about is your immediate surroundings at all times. Especially when wearing the GP NVGs because they work so well, you won't be able to tell what is actually well lit and what isn't. You might be walking out into a very well moonlit area and not know that you're easily visible or move to a supposedly dark corner and not know it really isn't that dark. The rat players have significant advantages here because they are always able to see those areas and even focusing on them so they will spot you quickly when you don't even know that you're in danger. With NVGs being as expensive as they are and with how easily they are countered in some situations, they fall perfectly into that same category as most of the fun stuff in Escape from Tarkov, that being the pout category where you bounce back and forth between meta and fun. More specifically, this is where you want to use a thing just because it's cool but it's super expensive and then the first time you die to a rat with a 30,000 ruble setup, you want to stop using it. I find myself pinging back and 
forth with these kinds of things as you will stop using it, then get bored with the alternative and go back. Then eventually die to a rat again and the cheeky cycle that is the essence of Escape from Tarkov continues. Again, if you want the best possible setup, you're looking at the GP NVG with the airframes and chops, the middle being the PVS-14 with whatever helmet you want to wear it with, then the cheapest and theoretically best option being just bring a flashlight to the point where if you're in close quarters with someone, you actually have a great advantage, especially if they're using NVGs. Just like anything in Tarkov though, you can master the NVGs in time. Bring a weapon with a flashlight of your own and you can try to get good at switching to it in the right situations. No matter what though, NVGs absolutely are useful in the right situations and are just really cool in general. Not to mention more features are coming to make them cooler. We just need to trust in the soon TM. Got them both. That's a clip! If you want to learn more about Escape from Tarkov or its development, then check out my playlist for it here. If you're looking for people to play with, then join our Discord below. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.